We like the colonies. God blessing us with very good organs and make sure today you will be in the concert, 3 o'clock. If you will be not, I don't want to say from this place you are a loser, but you are very close. Be careful, make sure you will be in the concert. Sisters and brothers, few announcements. All the flowers were given to the glory of God by the need to answer the loving memory of her sister Remy and her father Edward. Walter's meeting will be in Hoyer Hall after service. There will be also the coffee and pastries available. Don't forget, our secretary do a very good job. Don't forget, organ concert will be 3 p.m. Everybody welcome. Our organist, Shane Brandes, will be giving a ratchet of Iberians and Romantics. Guest promoted by the world winning vocalist Ava Preston. Bring parents and family looking for past donations for the reception at the world. Prevent choice dollars were gratefully received from Apple Palestine. Bible study and this week we have one session will be one o'clock and welcome for second session seven p.m. Community service Wednesday 25th. A hospital bed has been donated to email. If you know of anyone in need, please contact all half. And we have number. Paul, thank you for this brother and thank you for her about that. Thanksgiving potluck is planned to Sunday, November 19. There will be a 10 a.m. combined service with potluck to follow. More details to come. I look in musicians who want to play in this event. Definitely, I hope we have already a quarterlist. Will be nice if you will be there. So thank you very much. And we will be supporting you. And if you know somebody who wants to play in our band, welcome. If you have any instrument, welcome too. Reimagine your future signing by Ohio District LMS. Sisters and brothers, please read this information carefully. If you want to participate, will be good. What is this conference about? After COVID-19, all situations in our congregations was drastically changed. Every, con every congregation will have time to discuss how we can deal with after, let's go name this, after resurrection, after COVID-19. How our congregations must do it or do something and we have chance to share and hear something from our president. Will be nice if you want to come with me. Will be 21st. Let me know and I will help you with registration by electronic. Also, we have information about George Spalatin. George Spalatin was helper to reformation Martin Luther. It is our steps coming now in this month for Reformation. Now, we have Thanksgiving potluck dinner. It is mean last Sunday before Thanksgiving, we have dinner potluck. Please be together with us and bring your friends, especially people who don't have around family. Everybody welcome. Last year was very nice and beautiful. If you want to participate, welcome. Sisters and brothers, let us confess our sins. It is me. Let us start our service. Because we come every Sunday here with our sins and God washing us from our sins. Today we want to glorify God for everything what God do in our life.
number five. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.
the 19th Sunday after Trinity of Psalm 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty. My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young, a place near your altar. Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God and Zion. Hear my prayer, Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on our shield, O oh God. Look with favor on your anointed one. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk his blindness. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Amen. The epistle reading for today is found in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, 22 through 28. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor. For we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work doing something useful with their own hands that they may have something to share with those in need. Here ends the reading of the epistle. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands in the evening sacrifice. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! O sing unto the Lord, for he hath done marvelous things. Hallelujah!
Some men brought to him a paralyzed man laying on the mat. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the man, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. And this son of the teachers of the law said to themselves, This fellow is lynching. Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said, Why do you obtain evil thoughts in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or say, Get up and walk. But I want to you know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the paralyzed man, Get up, take your mat, and go home. Then the man got up and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were filled with faith, and they praised God, who had given such authority to them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Right. 
Sisters and brothers, grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, help us listen to God's words and take good news to our hearts and help us share with people Good news. Amen. <coughs> Sisters and brothers, today my sermon has two parts. One part will be preaching about our gospel, good news, what we heard today. And second, I want to share with you information about our conference for church workers. This week I spent time in conference workers in Ohio district and it was a very nice conference why I want to share with you. Let's start with the beginning. Today we have gospel where gentlemen was sick not moving on self. Friends bringing him to the mat and bringing him before Christ. And Jesus, brother, your sins is forgiven. He do nothing. He received good. From whom? From Christ. Forgiveness. But hence he received from brothers and sisters who lived around him. And I want to help you understand about nation. It is mean this nation for people and this sick man was nation who living in the correct group of people. And the nation will be nation with language will be nation like family, our nation, Emmanuel congregation, nation in the family where father is like Abraham and family like nation. And this family has chance be in heaven tomorrow because our country is not here. Our country is in heaven be together forever with God. And I chose two people. I chose Noah. I remember the story about Noah. Noah who built the ark. Good. It is even better. Because if I was in conference, I thinking, huh, once I heard something from Christine Rama about Ark of Noah. And I think that in one day, if God will be blessing me, I want to see this ark. And I saw it is border not too far from Cincinnati and Kentucky. What's happened? Gentlemen built ark size what you have in Old Testament. Beautiful, unbelievable. If you have time or you have friends or family members, very good place to be. Second place, it is Mansfield. Mansfield has two places popular. Wax Museum, Wax Museum, very nice. Many of us already visited this place. If you have time, I will be more like happy to help you and be together with you probably 30 times already with the museum. I visited last time with my sister and brother-in-law. We go to this museum. If you have family members, go to this place. Let's go back to the park. Noah, he lives in the nation. And he built this ark for whom? For family. Every father has responsibility for family. And he built for all family this part. He 
invited people, but people say, Noah, you were to to you. Yeah? It is me. Noah built the ark and his family survived. Today, in 21st century, we have big problem. How we can survive family? No other word. He fall, what God says to him, and build the ark and survive on family. Another gentleman, it was Moses. I remember Moses' story from Old Testament. Little child from water and all this story and he started. Now, Moses is different person. He not only thinking about nature, but he do. What he first do, he saw two brothers, Israelites, fighting. Came to these people and said, Why you want to fight in brothers and sisters? Don't do that. We are a nation and we must be and glorify God. Now, we can fight in our families, we can fight in our congregation, we can fight about own ambitions, what we have in our country. Yes? Definitely. But in Emmanuel, we have very, very important moment because we are brothers and sisters by baptism. It is mean we have responsibility before everyone, before everyone for salvation. What's happened with Moses? Moses saw situation, he came to don't fight me or nation. He not even stop here. If he saw Egyptian soldier beating Jew men, I remember what he did. Killed him. And he lay down and sent, he covered, but somebody saw that. And Moses must emigrate to different country. It is mean we have two different people. And the same story we have in families. Somebody cared only about own self, and somebody will be cared about family members. Somebody probably will be in the middle, somebody will be cared about own self. All ambitions, all feelings, all ideas, all. And somebody will be a different person who will be see needs and other people in congregation. And we are congregation but Baptist. It is mean we are not like Noah responsible for own self only. We are responsible for the weakest person in our congregation. We are responsible for the weakest person in our family. We are responsible for any man of congregation. It is the nation of God. And God, He is the owner of this church. And doesn't matter what kind of we have ambition. We said all together to God. Now, we have the same situation with our country. And today we want to pray for our president, for our wife, governor, and all people who make it the law because we want to live in a better country. Yes? America, it is a great country. Open your eyes and you will see America, how America is great. But we can't care in this country only about own ambitions. 
we must care about everyone who is especially weak. After that, we can make, okay, it is time to. If we not go for this thinking, nobody will be respected after the country. And this picture is very well. Let's have a Bible study. I had a sentence in this. Always proclaim the gospel. Good news. Use these words only if you really need it. It is everything what we do, what Jesus is asking us, it is we do for our brothers and sisters doing, giving thanks. You can check in your house, or you can check in your around how you deal with your business around. Can you imagine we outside today Service. We don't have church, we are outside in the parking. And it's cold. Somebody will be care about, okay, I have good cold, boy, I will survive the service. Yeah? I have good cold. But another person will be coming and say, oh, we have lots of wood, we can make fire and we can hit everybody around. Yes? It is picture what is Christianity about. After if we thinking about everybody around first, we are Christians and we don't need words proclaim good news. It just means you don't need any more passport. Sisters and brothers, we have, if we have confirmation in our church, we have three questions to candidates. Three questions. Are you denied devil? Are you denied all his business? And always where he walking. Yes? Another, are you willing for our Father Creator? Father. Are you willing for Jesus Christ for your beginning to your salvation? Are you willing for Holy Spirit who build the church and stay with church? After that, pastor say, welcome to our church. And confirmation come. What we have doing the service with veterans. I don't want to make mistakes and I will read. Even if I will read, I will do mistakes. Don't worry. Sisters and brothers, what we have around us with our Baptists. In Holy Baptist, God the Father has made you a member of His Son, our Lord. We are not anymore, we don't know who we are. We are members of his son. He go to crucifixion, resurrected, and he said, I want to invite you to my father's house. And it is our destination. After that, We have Baptist, Mother, and War, and God's Word, and this person is already Christian. Pastor said, Welcome to our community of Christians. 
in our church, long time we don't have baptism. It is me, God today invited us and say, bring new people to Emmanuel for baptism. Now, every service, and today also, I had an announcement, I said, let us confess what we do in the end of here. In the beginning in our service, we confess our sins. Why it is so important to be here in pure. We confess our sins. After that, we are receiving forgiveness of sins. After forgiveness of sins, we have finished our service. God sent it us to people. Now, how Emmanuel, how our families can spread the gospel? Only if we will be together. Because usually God unites congregation. He invites us to congregation. But what we do, because we are only poor human beings and sinners, very often we separated us from congregation or separated inside congregation, inside the family. Outside in our country and inside in our country, we separate. It is mean it is not Christian way. Sisters and brothers, second part of my sermon. Conference was for church workers. It is me. I collected to you all conference. I have one copy. If somebody wants to read what is me being the church and how church working, I am talking about Missouri Synod, you can learn and you can see what kind of part of body in the church has responsibility. Sadly, I read again all these articles and I figure out pastor and congregation is responsible for everything. I don't want to be responsible for everything. It is me, Missouri Synod, prepared system. We have trustees, we have president, and our Congregation, we have come chamber. Come chamber had have today Thursday, happy 16. Happy Thursday. And we have deacons and we have people. And these people want to serve to God together with us by constitution and by rules what our church has. Now, I don't want to miss nobody who working in this church, who giving donations and everything, and I want to skip this moment where somebody say, oh, I do so much to congregation, I need donations, and pastor don't say nothing about me. And I want to skip this moment. I want to say, Thank you very much for everything what you do for this congregation. Everybody and for everything. Clear enough? Good. But in our duty, we have people, and if you have our duty, you can have in your hands, and it will be nice if we can today say thank you for these people who are working for our congregation. First of all, I want to say
say thank you very much for Pastor Hoyer who stay and continue to be with our congregation. Now, in Missouri Synod, we not clap your hands in church, but for Pastor Hoyer, yes, please clap your hands. Pastor Hoyer, he was a person who came to this congregation like Abraham, Moses, because he is and he was always for congregation. Are you figure out that? He always was for congregation. Pastor Hoyer, thank you for good example be pastor and good piece of puzzle in this mosaic what we have in our church in many congregations. I need people in Ohio district and few people says, oh, do you know what? I know Pastor Hoyer. Do you know he's still alive? I said, yes, he's still alive. He planning to be in my funeral, your funeral, and all around to Missouri City. Pastor Hoyer, again, thank you for everything what you do for this congregation. Next step will be our president, Tom Chamber. Tom, thank you for all blessings what you've given to this congregation and your meetings and everything around. Thank you very much and it is my privilege to be pastor in time because if you have in one time in history, probably Emmanuel will be, if Tom Chamber was president, Pastor Jablonski was pastor. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for all what you do for our congregation. Karen Kmuf, our secretary, what we have in our bulletin, she is very professional, very nice job, thank you very much. Shooting the service, Dan and Herta always was with me, even today. We spoke about our next visitation. Dan, please say hello to Herta and thank you for everything what you do around our church and for congregation and people. And if you need for Sunday school, dig on chair, Wally Half, Wally, thank you for everything and all time what you donated to this congregation. Our recording secretary, Heidi Cooper, thank you very much. And trustee chair, Hans Horstmann. Hans Horstmann is the person who started nice few projects in our congregation. It is me if we have once a month cake for everybody who had birthday, it is his idea. Hans, thank you very much for that. And for many things what you do, I am so glad our trustees supported him and cooperated with him very well. Chris Brown. Thank you for recording me now. I am in good shape. <laughs> News, thank you very much. Heidi Cooper, music director. Our custodian, Mike Half. Mike, thank you for everything what you do around our church. Sylvia Herman, thank you very much for all situation what you do. Sylvia, she She's everywhere. It is me, Bible study room, cleaning church and money and responsible. Thank you, Sylvia, for everything what you do for this church. Financial Secretary Wally Half, it is me, Wally spent it more time in the church like at home. Rosie, it is correct? Good. It is, yeah, thank you for time what your husband donated to our congregation. Now, three o'clock we have organ, because I recorded our music and I show to pastors who was in conference our music 
and everybody was all and ah, in this meeting. <coughs> Shay, thank you very much. You are blessed with many talents, but we are even more, more blessed in the Emmanuel congregation. Have you here? Don't do any work. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for our organist. Every Friday we have white angels. Not a long time ago. Do you saw blue angels in jets around Cleveland? Every Friday, white angels cleaning our church. It's beautiful and nice, we want to say, and we see you guys how you working so hard. Thank you very much for that. Very good. And thank you for everyone who working so hard. Last year, Paul Half spending painting our. You saw our fans. Paul, thank you for everything what you do, and for everybody who definitely uh, giving donations and care about our budget. Now, uh, what we can do for this people? working so hard and for we don't have presents today for you but we remember if you was installed in many positions what you was installed <coughs> why we want to pray for our chief and boss town chamber we want to pray for Hans for Wally and all people around and we want to support you what you do because if we have installation we already said obey we will pray for you yes <coughs> it is please pray for everybody especially for me if you want to have nasty pastor don't pray you will receive very quickly Please pray for me also. Now, we have our bulletin in your hands. Who don't have bulletin? Everybody have it? Let us pray our Father for German language. You don't need to stand up. You can sit, don't worry. And we will try pray for German of our Father because we had one meeting and it will be nice if we can this information and we will remember who we are in the humanity. Okay? Vater unser, der du bist im Himmel, geheiligt werde dein Name, dein Reich komme, dein Himmel geschehe, wie in Himmel so Mr. Dill, again, we want to ask you, please bring your instrument. 
your life will be motivated. Yeah, I will please motivate your husband and he will be with his woman. We have also a cardinalist. Welcome for this concert also, because concert will be in the church and our kids will be have performing in the church. But music like, you know, not cold, but like carols will be in our fold together with coffee hours and everything will be nice concert. Don't lose your date and don't lose this concert because you will be who you will be. Yes, correct. It is easy, sisters and brothers. Two events. First, it is Thanksgiving. Second, Thanksgiving Patla. Second is Christmas concert for our congregation. Please invite friends and everybody who is around. And again, thank you very much because I already spoke with our organist. He will be here and he will be sent to me and you. My notes is finished. It is mean we have finished of sermon. Sisters and brothers, Please, please be like Moses, who saw needs and wrapped it. Amen. Thank you very much for all of you who work, who come into this church, invite people, and everything what you do for the men. Amen. May God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost.
in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For clean hearts created by the forgiveness of Christ, that we may put off the old ways of sin and walk in the way of His commandments. Let us pray to the Lord. For the ministers of the church, that our God, who has given such authority of men to forgive sins, will follow their every word and deed toward this office of Him, and that gospel may predominate in our worship and life together. Life together. Help us be always together, working for you in our congregation, in our families, and our country. Let us pray to the Lord. For the Spirit of God, that He would fill our homes, congregation, and country with His forgiveness and work righteousness and holiness among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our, for Joseph, our president, Mike, our governor, and all our leaders, that even as God rules that world by his mighty power, he would be pleased to give our nation wisdom, peace, and success in accordance with commandments. Let us pray to the Lord. For my bossy, Chris Rana, brother-in-law, Rosemary Kendall, for the little flowers, Arnold Gill, Derda Breger, Bonnie Felstein, Maria Fisher, Ruth Fleischmann, Christina Clark, friend of Nettie Hoyer O'Brien, Mary Horstman, Bridget Kern, Anton Maria Kozel, Pamela Kozinglo, Renate Krug, Chuck Lash, Schubert's brother, Reverend Peter Turn, Edith and Program Rosello, Glenn Zimmerer, Rosemary Isaac Sandlo, Renate Stengel, Heavy Soldier in the 20th, would be like extra prayers, Ruth Freudler, Anton Blackmarder, and all people who need our spiritual support. Let us pray to the Lord. For the spread of grace of God, that we may be whole in the forgiveness of sins, together with all those broken by His word. Let us pray to the Lord. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we command all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy. Through Christ, in Jesus Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for peace. Pray to the Lord. Father Unze, Geheim werde dein Name, dein Reich komme. 